Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Burrell, and welcome to another episode of My Why. I recently sat down with professional basketball player and Waterbury's own, Anthony Ireland. We got the opportunity to speak about his foundation, the AI3 Leadership Academy, his camp, and giving back to his community. Here's Anthony Ireland and his why. What is your why? Why'd you even get out of the bed this morning? Why did you come here? I'm always looking forward to the interaction with the community, the kids, especially the kids that come back and you know, see those, see those same faces every year. Um, so that's always a joy to see that they're, they like what we, what we do. So, so they're, they're signing their kids up and, and the kids are benefiting from it. I'm Anthony Ireland and this is my why. The foundation, um, myself and my partner originally came up with the idea called the AI3 Leadership Academy. And it's something that we established five years ago. We're going into our fifth summer actually of hosting camps. We also do the individual training, group training, We've done women's leagues and, and various events throughout Waterbury. The original idea just came from, you know, always wanting to give back, you know, having that pay it forward mindset. And, you know, ever since I became a pro five years ago, give back um, when I come back in the summertime. As Anthony would quickly learn, there are a lot of challenges that come along with running a foundation. It was definitely a lot of hardships. I kind of take the mindset I had in basketball and put it towards my craft and and building the foundation. So it definitely wasn't easy. Partner Julio and I, we uh, spent countless hours just coming up with you know, the itinerary and different criterias for, that we need to meet. But at the end of the day, it's, it's been a journey. I've loved every, every, bit of, every bit of it. And as for the direction, he sees the AI3 Leadership Academy heading. So 20 years, 30 years, 40 years down the line, I wanna look back and still have the academy rolling. Um, and then have it be a, a positive outlet in the community um, for, year, for years to come. And we're doing, we're taking the right, the right steps right now. So, you know, I definitely see that happening um, when I retire or when I, you know, finally give the foundation into to the next person's hands. Over the past five years, Anthony has spent time in countries like France, Poland, Lithuania, Greece, and most recently, Russia. A pretty unique experience. Um, I originally went there to for the competition. Um, the VTB League out in Russia is considered the top two leagues outside the NBA, including Spanish League. So, so that was the original reason to going out there. Obviously, it doesn't. You, go, you know, when you tell people you're going to Russia, it doesn't. A lot of people don't see it as something they want to do. But um, the competition was definitely what sold me, and my agent did his homework in terms of just getting to know the team, getting to know management, and then putting me in the right position. So it was, it was a great experience. We won a lot of games, like every year, a lot of ups and downs. But you know, you, gotta, you have to stay level-headed. Um, that's something that one of the, when I was a rookie, one of my vets told me is never get too high, never get too low. So whether I have a good game or bad game, you know, just go back to the house, cook some dinner, and never get too high, never get too low. But you know, my, my experience out in Russia was, was definitely positive. Um, I, I wouldn't change it because it's, you know, it's made me who I am. Playing overseas has helped to give Anthony a platform for the work he's doing today in his community, paying it forward to Waterbury, where it all began. Growing up, I was always in leagues, in camps. I had a pass at the boys' club, I had a pass at the Y, so that was, kind of, that was kind of my escape from just things that were going on, you know, growing up, normal stuff. So I've all, I, me and my friends always resorted towards basketball. You always find us at a gym. And in the summertime, we didn't, you know, we were outside riding bikes, playing at various parks. And I knew that, you know, that kids nowadays, they don't have much to lean on. They don't have many mentors to lean on. They don't have many gyms to go to now. So I wanted to create something, a positive community, a positive community event that everybody from all races, all religion can interact and play the game that we love. So the meaning behind, you know, getting, putting everything together, getting the right people in order, and then obviously it's sincere to me because it's my community. So that was how, how everything, where everything stemmed from. And, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna take it to new heights and we're gonna continue to build. And every year the community shows us a positive reaction. So we'll continue to, you know, push, push the limits on, on us and our foundation, you know, growing. This year's AI3 Skills Camp had the largest turnout to date, with around 200 kids attending, proving that the AI3 Leadership Academy is making a massive impact on the local youth. 